they're trying to have a bit to be as good as possible, but in the long term success of things, they're not gonna they're not gonna win. I think the biggest thing for us with Pete is it, and I say this, and it's probably not the right thing to say, but to, is there's nothing special about it. It doesn't do anything that somebody else doesn't do. We just do something that a lot of other people do, if that makes sense. Um, we've tried to be super user-friendly, simple, clean, not, it's powerful, but in an easy to use way. Um, so Pete takes it from lead to sale. Now, whether you rehab it in between that or if you keep it as a rental, there's a place to track rentals. It doesn't have property management in it yet, but that's coming. Um, so you've got your phone system, you've got your task management, file management, project management, um, e-signatures built in. One of the things that we felt like was really important is um, speed to lead's a big deal. So if it's coming in and you can text and call right out of there, also you sign a contract, like let's kick off some workflows that um, send it straight to title company or let everybody know they need to be sending it to a title company. Just kind of, you don't want anything falling through the cracks. Urgency is a big deal for us. So the software solves urgency without you having to have a lot of brain power. So you can do, you can do your work. You don't have to keep up with menial tasks, but um, some of the biggest things that I love about it are the customized dashboards and KPI tracking. So what I track in my business may not be what you track in your business, but you should be able to track it in your software. Um, also the customized workflows, that's really the heart and soul of Pete. Um, your business, like we all are doing the same things, but we don't do them the same ways. Uh, what makes sense in the process with my people doesn't make sense necessarily with yours. There's some things that cross over, but you need to be able to set up exactly what makes sense for your business for it to work for you. You don't need to change your business for software. And you don't have to spend 10 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand hiring a developer to customize your Podio or to customize your Salesforce. Um, those platforms are very, very powerful. I'm not saying anything negative about them, um, but they're so powerful and so customizable that it's difficult for most people to do. Um, now, can you customize every little thing in P, like where each little text box is? No, um, but we have them in a way that makes sense for investors. We didn't just have it designed by a developer. Um we did it to make sense for investors and we take feedback. We actually listen to feedback from our uh, subscribers. Um, yeah, I, just being able to take it all the way through is is huge. And the, the workflows, people think of workflows and a lot of times they think of just drip campaigns following up with sellers long-term and they can do that. But as Amy pointed out, it can also do things like automatically move a lead into a purchase when the contract signed you know you don't have to wait for somebody to remember to send the email you don't have to go through all that technology can make your life easier and it's something that's easy enough that a normal person can actually set up and do in the software themselves if they need help we're more than happy to help them all right that's what we're here for we are here for customer support um you know we have the ability if somebody has a hard time with uh, KPIs or dashboards and they can tell us what they're looking for, we can create a, a widget or a full dashboard for them and push it over to them and they get it. And that's the main focus for us is them succeeding and being able to do what they need to do in their business, not how little can we spend on support. And that's when companies do that and they have poor support, it just blows my mind. Um, I get why I, they're trying to have a bit to be as good as possible but in the long term success of things they're not going to they're not going to win